You're watching a special presentation of Canada's number one news channel, CBC News Network On Demand. Have you ever been frustrated trying to find an item in the grocery store? Like canned tomatoes, are they in the aisle with the canned vegetables or with the pasta sauce? And where are the wooden skewers for shish kebabs? Thankfully, an inventor has solved this problem. Aisle Magic is a newly launched app that maps out grocery stores and tells you where to find specific items. It even breaks down your shopping list by aisle so users can save time. So far, it's being tested in Toronto and has mapped about 40 grocery stores around the city. Rajiv Oberoi is the founder of Aisle Magic. So Rajiv, tell me the story of how you came up with this idea. Well, my wife and I would go grocery shopping and uh, you know we go to the local no frills near our, our, our house and and often we break up the list, a paper list, by uh, not by aisle, but just by category. And what would happen is my wife would take on the produce, which is pretty easy to find. It's all together at the front of the store. I would take in the dry goods, and we'd divide and conquer. What often happens is my wife would end up finishing her side of the list quicker, and I'd be searching for items uh, like skewers or other obscure items that, you know, I'd ask individuals in the store, where can I find this item? And maybe they don't know, or maybe they're busy. And so I thought there's got to be a better way to solve for this uh, technologically speaking. So basically you can download the app right. and then it will show you a map of where, to, how, tell me how you interact with the yeah, app when you're actually using it. So it's really easy. You download it and uh, it, you enter the items on your grocery list and it sorts it by the aisle of the shopping uh, oh. the shops that you're going to. And so we have about 40 no frills in the greater Toronto area right now mm -hmm. and uh, we're hoping to expand to other, uh, other locations and other uh, grocery store chains across uh, Canada. So as you're going down the aisle it's saying it's beeping and telling you <laughs> look to the right or look down or look up yeah. or those sorts of things yeah it essentially sorts it so you'd have aisle one all the items you have to get in aisle one and then uh, if there's nothing in aisle two it won't list aisle two so you know you can skip that so essentially you're saving time as you're going through the list and hopefully by that time you get to the end of the store you've gotten everything you need you know it's interesting because I do know my store quite well, right. and when I make my list, I'm visually going through right. it and listing it in order of right. where I'm going to be. Right. Although my issue is when I go to a store that I, I don't know, and it's just like, oh, I might be on another planet, exactly. or how hopeless I am at trying yeah. to find anything. Right. So was that a situation where you could use your app also? Yeah, of course. And you know, stores don't keep a consistent layout across different, even the same brand across different stores, and that can be frustrating for users. And so what we hope to do is we have unique layouts for all the stores we've mapped into individually uh, on a store-by-store -store basis. And so even if you do know the layout of your own store, uh, you know, sometimes you don't know where the odd item is, and this will help you with that, um, and it'll help you kind of find things quicker. Now, how did you do this mapping? I mean, are the stores participating with you, or were you doing this sort of a stealth operation? Well, we're not affiliated with that, uh, with no frills or law block companies uh, at this moment. However, we've done a lot of uh, shoe leathering and going through the stores and finding these items and uh, mapping it to uh, to the categories that exist. And uh, we've developed a proprietary method to kind of figure out uh, across the board how does this fit into the products? And we have over 2,000 products in the app as well that map to each, uh, each aisle in each of these no frills. So right now it's just no frills. That's correct. But you do intend to do other chains as well? Definitely. Uh, we hope to uh, branch out not just within uh, the no frills category or La Blas brand, but beyond that and, and other stores, not just grocery stores as well. We hope to, to map out to other larger format retailers as well. Um, you know, a lot of these retailers have over 40, 50 aisles sometimes, and it can be very daunting you can walk over a mile uh, just to find the items that you need. But, the, I mean, how are you going to do this on a <laughs> national basis, Rajiv? Because there are so many stores. There are. And even though certain chains may have a, a set floor plan that right. is repeated many, many times, right. I'm sure there's some individuality in how different store managers lay things out and so forth. Course, I mean, yeah. how will you stay up to date and have all these different floor plans in well, part of your app? Yeah, well, two ways. Uh, the first way is we're beta testing right now and we're hoping to uh, to launch to other grocery stores by going to these stores. Uh, I'm outsourcing that work as well and getting a lot of people to, to kind of go to these stores and map it out and send me the data and validate it with photos and other things like that. Um, and the second way is eventually uh, we'd like to have users who use the app enter the information into, this, into the uh, app itself. Hmm. I can imagine how, you know how traffic reports have people call in with, oh, there's exactly. an accident here, they're, they're going to call. The oranges have moved across the aisle, you exactly. know, report back to yeah. the app, that sort of thing. Now, what about um, making money? I mean, I know this is a part-time
time sideline venture yes. for you. Yeah. But uh, the app is free. It's free. So is there a revenue plan for this? Uh, yeah, so currently we have interstitial ads that, that appear when users complete certain tasks in the app. So for example, if you complete and check off all the items in your list, you'll get what we call as a reward. And we're using Keep, which is a US-based company that provides, uh, that provides rewards to individuals when they complete certain tasks. Uh, and so you can get eventually coupons for items that hopefully you need and want to buy. And uh, through that, we earn money. Right, and you have other ideas for grocery stores too, right? Uh, yeah, we do. We have a lot of ideas for this app and where to take it. And I think the grocery space is really interesting right now. And I know that Loblaws is looking into, you know, they have done click and collect and they have a lot of, uh, you know, work around that. However, I think that the, the whole model of the grocery store needs to change a little bit and become more digital and allow consumers who still want to go to the store and pick up that apple and look at it and assess whether or not they want to buy it. Uh, that needs to be a little bit more digital and I think a little bit more user friendly. Hmm. You might be switching careers at some point, Ajeev. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, thank you for being here. Thank you very much. You 